afternoon, folks. I've done it. I've made it to week two without a single bit of nicotine, tobacco, or any of it. I'm really starting to feel the effects of it now. It's starting to body snapping back. And still have the urges, still my brain will try to tell me, oh, that's annoying. you smoke one, but it, like I say, it's the longer you go, you get a lot more to lose, and it, and, and it, it doesn't have the grip on you it had before. It's a lot easier to beat back those cravings. But yeah, I've, I've had nothing but positive after positive from it. And I hope this this little series I'm doing gives somebody motivation <coughs> it'd be great if it does uh, really and truly the reason I'm doing it's give me a reason to be accountable I don't want to have to come on here and tell y'all I failed so uh, that hurt my pride but uh If, if, if it can inspire somebody else, say, well, that big old fat ugly motherfucker can do it. I know I can. Go ahead and get that attitude. If that big old boy can't beat me, I'll show him. Show me. lead a few more people to the watering hole uh, that just that'd be quite rewarding uh, but yeah it's, it, like I say I'm, I'll do I'll probably do one of these up to a month and then maybe you know I'll just get periodic updates after that because like I say it becomes really redundant as I get on here and say, it's getting easier. I'm still quit. And I've caught myself waking up in the morning, going and sitting in my computer chair. And be digging looking for something on the tabletop it'd take me a couple minutes to realize I'm looking for a cigarette so yeah the want is still there and learn to use your uh, your negatives to your uh, to your advantage I'm Lazy feller, bad procrastinator. I'm bad to procrastinate. Oh, it comes to smoking. How I finally ended up quitting this time was it was on a Monday night. Uh, I ran out of cigarettes at the house. Knew I was going to. But I made myself a, a pact at that point that I could not go buy more cigarettes until I ran out of cigarettes. That way I couldn't, you know, I just come home a couple, three hours before from work, you know, and I could have stopped on the way home, bought, you know, enough to get me through. I said, no, I'm not going to buy any cigarettes until I run out of cigarettes. 
just something to make it a little harder on myself. That's you got a brain that works like mine. Sometimes you, know, you just gotta trick fuck it into doing what you want. So I ran out of cigarettes. Oh no, about eight o'clock that night. And uh proceed tell myself, you know, I just don't think I'm gonna go buy no more cigarettes. Um, I kinda stomped around there and started to say, oh, I'll go give me some, I'll go give me a pack. Well then my laziness would take over. No. And all night, Monday night, I talked myself out of going to the store and buy cigarettes. Just because, just being lazy. 100% being lazy. And that's using one of your negative attributes and make it work for you in the right situation. As long as I kept procrastinating and being lazy, I didn't smoke cigarettes. So the next thing you know, Bed, got up the next day. Done been 12, 14 hours without a cigarette at that point. And, uh, and just kept it up. Kept up talking myself out of going to the store. Uh, thought I was going to have to go to the store and get something, you know, at the grocery store. Nope, I made it work with what I had in the house. I, anything to keep me from getting in the car and going to the store. And then the next day I was back in the truck. No, I wasn't. No, I was getting ready for my, uh, my heart catheter. That's another reason why I went ahead and laid them down because I knew I took a week's vacation and I, it's easy to control myself at house. And once I've been through a week, uh, then I could lock myself down before I got back in the truck. Now that's the only only time you you know when you have to walk in a pilot or something go in there and get your fuel receipt or whatever is walking yourself in there and walking back out of there without buying nothing or without buying cigarettes but that's gotten now it doesn't cross my mind uh, it's, you know when I first started quitting I'd be driving down the road trying to talk myself into stopping the next convenience store get me a pack well now it's been two two weeks it's uh I'm trying to talk myself into it no more it's uh like I say usually you don't you don't even think about it just it's uh doesn't cross your mind Compliments, or I mean, not compliments, but you leave compliments if you want to. Comments down there, and you know, tell everybody what's what's, what's, what's worked for you. Cause it's a little bit different for everybody, and you can, you know, somebody might, you might give somebody that 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 missing link that they need to, to get through. Uh, Like and subscribe if you would. I surely appreciate it. Uh, I know I ain't much of a speaker, but I try. 
more I do it, the better I get at it. Y'all have your fine day, and I'll catch you on the flip side.